in this video, we are learning about the Nunavut Territory. Where is the Nunavut Territory? Here is a map of Canada. Where is Nunavut located? I will give you many tips to help. It covers the northern and northeastern part of Canada. Nunavut is Canada's largest territory with a total area of 2,093,190 square kilometers. Nunavut is very big. If it were a country, it would be the 15th largest country in the world. The most common languages spoken are Inuktitut, Inuinatun, English, and French. Do you now know where Nunavut is located? Yeah, Nunavut is located in these areas. As you can see, it's made up of many islands. Let's look at what surrounds Nunavut. What are the boundaries of Nunavut? In the south, Nunavut shares boundaries with Manitoba and Hudson Bay. To the east of Nunavut is a body of water that flows from the north southward. The body of water consists of Davis Strait, Baffin Bay, and the Nair Strait. In the west, Nunavut shares boundaries with the Northwest Territories. To the north of Nunavut is the Arctic Ocean. When did Nunavut become a territory? On April 1st, 1999, the map of Canada was redrawn. The Northwest Territories divides into two territories to allow for the creation of Nunavut, a homeland for Canada's Inuit. So Nunavut was part of the Northwest Territories. The whole territory from the glacial mountain fjords of the East Coast of Baffin Island to the rolling rock hills of the west coast of Hudson Bay is Arctic Terrain. Nunavut is a massive, sparsely populated territory forming most of the Canadian Arctic Islands. Ellesmere Island, Baffin Island, and part of Victoria Island are all in Nunavut. Its islands have expanses of tundra, craggy mountains, and remote villages accessible only by plane or boat. It's known for its indigenous Inuit people's artwork, carvings, and handmade clothing. Roughly 75% of the world's narwhal population migrate into Nunavut islands and shallow bays. 
the entire territory of Nunavut has just under 32 kilometers of paved road. To get to communities, people use planes, boats, and snowmobiles. Wow, what a fun way to go. I love boats. Nunavut's earliest sunset is on December 17th at 1.40 p.m. And their latest sunrise is December 24th at 9.25 a.m. On June 20th, Iqaluit gets 20.5 hours of sunshine. That is surely a special place. The official flag of Nunavut was proclaimed on 1st April 1999 along with the territory of Nunavut in Canada. The flag consists of gold and white fields divided vertically by a red anuksuk with a blue star in the upper fly. The colors blue and gold were selected to represent the riches of the land sea and sky, while red is used to represent Canada as a whole. The Inuksuk, which divides the flag, is a traditional stone monument used to guide travelers and to mark sacred sites. In the upper fly, the blue star represents the North Star, an important object due to its key role as a navigational beacon and as symbolically representing the wisdom and leadership of community elders. The capital is Iqaluit, meaning place of fish. It sits on vast Baffin Island in Frobisher Bay. The island is known for its ice-caped mountains and tundra valleys. Some of the striking aspects of their material culture are igloo, kayak, and ulu. What is the meaning of Nunavut? Nunavut means our land in the native Inuktitut language. What is Nunavut's territorial flower, animal, and bird? Nunavut's territorial flower is the purple saxifrage. Its animal is the Canadian Inuit dog. And its bird is the rock ptarmigan. Thank you for learning about Nunavut with us. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon.